Hey everyone, welcome back to Unbox 17. This is your host Gagan and today we are reviewing the 55 inch beauty produced by TCL, the P715 AI Smart TV. As the name suggests, it comes with AI technology and hands-free functionality, meaning you can control other smart home appliances compatible with the TCL AI through voice commands and to do so it has four inbuilt microphone receivers which work actively to capture any commands you would give to the TV for a remote less experience. Sounds pretty good but more on that later. Now according to me for a TV to be considered as good it has to fill in certain checkboxes and those being the design, the panel or the display, connectivity, sound and features. Starting with the design, this TV offers what most premium TVs are offering at the moment. A slim bezel-less design with a sleek metallic border frame. Not the cheap plastic frames offered by most of the competition. A whopping 93.5 screen to body ratio for that immersive experience. The silver metallic feet matches the aesthetic of the TV while keeping the screen sturdy. Though I'm not a big fan of the side stand feet, but somehow these feel nice. Maybe it's due to the great build quality and good material choice by TCL. Something to appreciate considering the price point of the TV. Good job TCL. The face of the TV has a little silver chin which houses the LED indicator for the TV. These LEDs can be selected for different functions and if you're not a big fan of LEDs then you can turn them off as well. A nice little detail TCL has added for user comfort. Simply adding this TV to your living space it changes the aesthetic completely giving you the feel of a high-end expensive TV. Now coming to the most important aspect of the TV, the panel or the display. Because to be honest, the reason you buy a TV is to watch content on it. And if the TV fails to deliver an immersive experience, then I don't think any other feature can compensate for it. But thankfully, this is not the case with this TV. It comes with a stunning 55-inch 4K Ultra HD display with HDR10 support, 270 nits of peak brightness and a contrast ratio of 4500 to 1 to deliver deeper blacks and vivid colors. Though TCL has added a 10-bit HVA panel, it's a type of VA panel, but somehow this feels like an IPS panel but better. Because there is no color shift while watching the TV from any angle which means that all your family and friends who do not get the front seat unfortunately will be able to enjoy the content equally because of the amazing panel quality this TV offers. The panel being 10-bit covers 98% sRGB color space which means the color reproduction is amazing and to enhance the already stunning display TCL has added some extra features like dynamic color enhancement and micro dimming to generate crisp and vivid picture with deeper blacks. Now let's quickly dive into the picture menu first. TCL has gone with a very simple approach by adding 6 picture presets to make things easier for the common user, but still giving tons of customizability options for more advanced users. The dynamic preset will offer you the most vivid picture with a pop of colors and pretty much all features activated. And by all features, I mean the dynamic tone mapping, gamma correction, color mapping, black level, local contrast, etc. This preset is for those who like colors popping out of the TV. Now next comes the standard preset. The standard preset is a toned on version of the dynamic preset and balances the color and brightness. Now next comes the Smart HDR preset. The Smart HDR preset on the other hand is the USB of this TV because it processes the non-HDR content and converts it into HDR. But HDR is a wide spectrum so the conversion can sometimes be a little off but 9 out of 10 times it's spot on. The next preset is the Sports Picture preset. This activates the motion clarity feature to reduce motion blur in fast moving objects and makes the sports viewing experience clearly visible. It also makes the colors very vibrant and the color temperature tends towards the cool side. One more feature you can activate is the motion smoothening feature which will give you the soap opera effect. But I would recommend to keep it off because this is not the traditional motion smoothening technique used by flagship TVs like LG or Sony. 
that is the frame interpolation technique where the TV adds the extra frames to the video to compensate for the missing frames but instead this TV relies on the screen to flicker at a weird rate to compensate motion smoothening which almost feels like a strobing effect. In simple words, let's just agree that the motion smoothing feature is not good in this TV and this is the only complaint I have regarding this TV. So if you're looking to buy a TV for that soap opera effect, then you will be disappointed by this TV. The next preset is the game mode preset which offers the fast response time of 5 milliseconds which is very respectable for a TV and eliminates input lag which in turn leads to an enjoyable gaming experience. But do keep in mind that this TV has a refresh rate of 60Hz only and does not offer VRR that is variable refresh rate. Now the last picture preset is the movie preset and this is my favorite because it is designed for watching movies and is calibrated towards warmer color temperatures. Meaning you will have a relaxed viewing experience and less strain on the eyes which in turn leads to binge watching your favorite shows. Now you don't have to feel that you have been limited to these 6 presets only. These picture presets can be further tweaked down to the personal preference of the user and the dynamic color enhancement and auto tone mapping features provide quite impressive picture quality. You can also adjust the local contrast, gamma correction, black levels, motion clarity, black stretch, contrast, brightness etc etc. The bottom line is that you can customize the viewing experience you like the most. And this is the best part of the TV because it is tailored according to your needs and your visual experience that you desire the most. Moving on to the best part, gaming on this TV. It is absolutely fun to play games on this TV due to its brilliant panel and fast response time of 5 milliseconds which is quite respectable for a TV. You experience no input lag and can easily play any genre of games on this TV except the competitive FPS gamers who want crazy fast refresh rates because this panel has a refresh rate of 60Hz and do not provide features like variable refresh rate or VRR which is available in flagship TVs from Sony, Samsung and LG. But do keep in mind that these TV comes with a hefty price tag. Instead, you could buy this TV and pair it with a PS5 or an Xbox Series X or S or a PC which can handle 4K, then you are golden. You will experience gaming very differently due to the sheer size of the panel and the immersive experience this TV brings with it. I hooked up my gaming PC with the TV. You can check out the build by clicking the I button above. It can handle 4K easily, but unfortunately, due to a power outage, my GPU got fried. But thanks to my dear friend Daman who came to my rescue and lent me his beastly RTX 3080 to complete the gaming part of this video. So shout out to Daman. And by the way, Daman makes great gameplay videos on his channel. So guys, check out his channel and give him some love by subscribing to his channel. It keeps the person motivated to create good content for you guys. This goes for me too. Show some love to the subscribe button and like the video to keep me motivated as well. Now moving on. You can also play Android games available on the Play Store because it comes with 16 GB storage and the Tri-Core Mali 470 GPU with 2 GB of RAM to handle most of the games. Something you can enjoy with your family and friends. Now moving on to the sound quality of this TV. You get two 15 watt speakers providing a total output of 30 watts which can get pretty loud. Plus, you get many sound presets and customization options to tweak the bass and clarity for better dialogue reception while you watch your favorite TV shows or movies. Here is a sound sample. Please comment down below how do you like the sound of this TV 
though this video is compressed using the YouTube algorithm but still it's quite similar to what kind of experience you get you can say that if you're listening and you're giving it an 8 maybe in real life you will give it a 9 though the sound quality is good but still I would recommend connecting a soundbar or an external speaker system because this TV supports HDMI arc and Dolby sound so you will get an exceptional sound experience which will match the already exceptional picture quality this TV offers. Now let's talk about the connectivity options available in this TV. You get 3 HDMI ports in total out of which 2 are HDMI 2.0 ports which supports 4K at 60Hz and 1 HDMI 1.4 port supporting HDMI ARC. Then you get 2 USB 2.0 ports for connecting pen drives or external hard drives for local media consumption. You also get a headphone or a speaker output port, a audio video in socket, digital audio out or optical audio if you choose to use that, Ethernet port for a solid connection and 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi for better coverage. Now let's talk about the features offered in this TV. The TV comes with Google OS Android 9.0 and runs very smoothly. But if you feel your system is getting laggy, then TCL has added an extra feature of System Optimize. With this feature, you can simply click on the System Optimize option available on the home screen and it will kill all the background apps and make your system fast and smooth once again. I really like this feature as it makes things easier for the user to just click the button and you're good to go. The TV being a Google TV means it supports all the apps available on the Play Store for TV and all your favorite apps like Prime Video, Hotstar, Z5, Sony Live, Discovery Plus, etc. can be downloaded easily as there is ample space available for many apps to be installed on the OS. And there is always the option to sideload any app of your choice which is not available on the Play Store. Then you get the Miracast and you also get the built-in Google Chromecast. So you can easily cast your photos and videos straight from your phone. Another feature is the TCL Remote Connect app. This app enables you to convert your mobile into a remote controller for the TV and have all the functionality of the remote itself. You can easily download the app from the Play Store or App Store on iOS or you can simply open the TCL Remote Connect app and you can scan the QR code which will automatically take you to the respective app store of your phone. Just install it and enjoy using your TV with your mobile. Now the other feature that is available on this TV is the Bluetooth 5.0 through which you can pair the smart and sleek remote. The remote comes with a dedicated Netflix button and the Google Assistant button thanks to the built-in Chromecast. You can search and ask Google about anything with just the press of a button. You can also pair a Bluetooth gamepad of your choice to enjoy games for a better gaming experience. And if you want to watch the TV alone or if you don't want to disturb anyone else you can pair your Bluetooth headphones or earphones with the TV and simply enjoy the content without disturbing anyone else. And you don't need to worry about the wires because everything is wireless. Now let me show you something. Hey Google. Turn off lamp. Got it. Turning the lamp off. Hey Google. Turn on lamp. 
Okay, turning the lamp on. Hey Google. Turn lamp brightness to 20%. Sure, setting the lamp brightness to 20%. This is due to the AI feature I was talking about earlier. TCL has added smart home support for all gadgets which are compatible with Chromecast or Alexa. And you can control smart appliances like lights or any smart gadgets through voice straight from the TV's four active microphones which gets activated whenever you say OK Google or Hey Google and you can control the respective smart devices. In my case, I have connected the lamp to the TV so I can turn the lamp on or off or I can control the brightness of the lamp or change the color. Options are infinite. You can do the same thing through the Google Assistant button available on the remote. Now personally, I have tested this feature and found out that if you have a strong internet connection, then the accuracy is good. But if the connection is weak between the TV and the router, then the consistency is lacking and it automatically translates it to something else which can be frustrating at times. But if you use the Google Assistant button on the remote, then the results are spot on. I think the issue is with the sensitivity of the active microphones on the TV. If TCL improves the microphones on the TV, then it will contribute to the real hands-free experience TCL has suggested on their product page. But again, considering the price point, it's bang on. You're kind of getting the functionality of Google Home products from the TV itself. And that's pretty awesome. Which brings us to the question, what is the price of this TV? I bought this TV for 37,321 rupees or 468 US dollars. The price of the TV is usually fluctuating between 39,000 to 41,000 on Amazon or Flipkart. So I will leave a link in the description box below so you guys can check out the product and buy if you wish to. Now to quickly sum it up for you, this TV is a value for money product because I have bought it. <laughs> no, just kidding. It's because the build quality is top notch, the metallic frame and an almost infinity display makes it look like a flagship TV. Tons of customization options for the user in terms of picture quality and sound quality, great connectivity options, great features like AI technology, built-in Chromecast, smart HDR support, Dolby digital support, Bluetooth 5.0 and many more features for an affordable price. You will not regret if you choose this TV, period. Now this comes to the end of this video. If you like the video, then give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know anything else about this TV, then do comment below. I would try my best to answer all the questions for you. And if you like this product, then I will leave a link in the description box and you can check it out and buy the TV as well. Follow me on Twitter for the channel updates. And if you would like me to review any other product, then feel free to ask in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. This is Gagan signing off and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.